Hey folks! Alright, so this time, this week, we're talking about the book to take a tasting of. I want to introduce you to a genre of books that you almost certainly know about, but you possibly don't recognize as a genre of books, because I didn't until I started looking into this. I'm talking about, I forget what I even call these, right? They're non-fiction. This is a literal DK one. They sort of own this. Um, they are marked by having not just walls of text on the inside, but rather big pictures, and then the text is sort of or organized in clumps around that, and every sort of page is, you know, on some sort of theme, colors in the skies, this one right, so rainbows, obviously, home weather station would be this one, you can see that because it says that literally on there, no, right, I love these books, and I wish that there were more adult books that did this, this is really one of those situations that even if you're an adult, if you want to learn about something, like, really, really well, you might not want to start with an adult book uh, on that topic. Instead, you might want to start with like, one of these kid-level, here's a bunch of really cool crap about this thing, right? Myths and legends. You will just learn more and retain more because of all the cognitive tools that are used. Um, you know, especially sort of interesting questions and uh, really cool images from this. Um, yeah, these are fantastic. Start here before you read an adult book. Just, yeah. Okay, so to do the tasting of it, what you'll probably want to do is, you know, start with the front, then go to the back, then go to the inside cover. By the way, these are not the only two ones that exist about weather, and frankly, it doesn't matter which ones you get, as long as they're about weather, or wind, or yeah, something like that that's meteorological. Um, then go to the back. The inside cover is a non-existent entity. The back cover is a non-existent entity. Looking at the front, okay, there's this. Ooh, big balls of hail, isn't that fun? And then you got this. Whoa, that is quite the funnel cloud. You ever actually see a uh, funnel cloud before? I have. Um, yeah, great. So you know, kind of keep going through it like that. Forward. Yeah, you might want to take a look at the forward, or you might not want to. Earth's weather. Go to the back. I wonder if they even have an index. They don't need to. Acknowledgements. Oh, they do have an index. So you might want to kind of poke around here and see if there's anything that's particularly piques your fantasy. Um, urban weather, tropical weather, thermosphere, plants, pollution, radio sonde. I feel like I've heard that word before. Maybe I've not made this clear enough, but when you're going and looking in the index or looking in the table of contents, your goal is the same thing that your goal is when you're randomly flipping through the inside here, and that is to find something that actually picks, peaks, touches, pulls, engages your interest, right? It is, just to state the basic fact of book tasting again, it is a fallacy to believe that you should read a book from the beginning to the end. Most books should not be read from the beginning to the end. There are too many books to do that. A few books are actually worth of that, worthy of that. But most books are just like, if you can find something in it that's really interesting to you and tell you something that you didn't know, that's usually enough. So this sort of book, oh, so good to do that with. Look at this. Oh, look at this map. But air masses. Okay, sorry. I could learn some things from this. Happy tasting and happy Thanksgiving.